I am seven years old, watching Matilda for the first time. I have read the book, and now, in front of me, she is everything I imagined. On a boxy TV screen in 2002, she is three-dimensional. At seven years old, she is everything I want to be. Fast forward, 2006. I am 11 and Willie Scott has just screamed and passed out for the third time in an hour. Indiana Jones is listing speaks her own mind as both a pro and a con. Fast forward, 2017. I am 22 and in a science fiction sequel I have been excited to see for months, female bodies are everywhere. They litter the screen, naked, bleeding, dead. Empty vessels for masculine angst. At the end of three hours, I can't remember any of their names. And really, for a moment, I'm not sure they ever had any. But it's just a film. Is this really such a problem? After all, things are so good for women right now. We've got the vote. <laughs> Many of us can access contraception and abortions. 80% of women haven't experienced sexual violence that you know of. Nothing exists in a vacuum. What we see shapes how people see us and how we see ourselves. So what happens when what we see tells us we are disposable? What happens when the only happy endings require straightness, slimness, whiteness? You know what I'm talking about. Is it good? Imagine a young girl. Imagine her growing up and actually seeing herself reflected back on the screens that surround her. Seven, 11, 22. Seeing complex womanhood writ large. Young girls of color, girls with disabilities, trans girls, girls from across the spectrums of sexuality, class, and body type. Imagine them growing up in a world that affirms their validity and appreciates their complexities. Growing up the heroine, not the supporting actress. It is easy to say that the struggle is over, that the battle is won, that other people have it worse, and that corner isn't worth fighting. What's harder is taking action, demanding more affecting change, because for every fat joke, every over-sexualized lesbian character, every underwritten submissive Asian girlfriend, every time the thing that sets us apart makes us the butt of a joke, our identities suffer. We are flattened from three-dimensional human beings into archetypes, stereotypes. Our bodies are stripped of humanity. We are made disposable. Progress is made by incremental gains. Today, we stand on the shoulders of our mothers, our grandmothers, the incredible women that came before us and questioned and doubted and fought for our rights to speak and to have others listen. A step towards seeing ourselves represented complexly and authentically on screen is just that, a single step. But we have to start somewhere. There is always more to be done and this step, this step is just one more in the long march towards equity, towards giving every woman the tools they need to believe in themselves and to succeed. We are told that to be a woman, a real woman, is to conform, to be feminine, to have white skin, a slim body, and to fall in love with a man. This definition is not enough. It is narrow. It restricts us. We must step beyond it, widen the lens, and celebrate our differences as well as our similarities. We have to keep questioning, doubting, stepping forwards. Vote with your money. Demand films that represent you fully. If you don't see it, make it. Start conversations, interrogate the media you consume and how it makes you feel. Expand your understanding of what it means to be a woman. I am not saying that to be straight, white, and cisgender is to not be a real woman. I am saying it is not the only way to be a woman. Fast forward. Soon I will be 30, 40, 50. I will not be the same person I am now. I will have had bad days and good days. I will have made mistakes and had triumphs. There will be a new generation of young women, 
bolder and braver than ever before. Their minds will have been moulded by what they have seen growing up, and I want that experience to have been a nurturing one. I want these women to be larger than life, confident in their complexities and in their value. I want them to see themselves in high definition as the protagonist in their own life. Don't you?